Hi, my name is David and I'm going to show you a quick demo for the NetIO controller application. After starting the application on the iPhone, we see the previously configured remote controls. We successfully connected over Wi-Fi to my self-made hardware device over there, the one with the blue screen. This device contains a NetIO AVR board, but you can use anything you want, for example an Arduino board. It just needs to be connected to your local network and receive strings. I installed the RFM12 antenna and implemented the protocol on the device so I can control my power outlets. I configured the iPhone app to send the string which will then be converted to the RFM12 signal and triggers the outlets. As we see here I can switch my lights on and off. There is also an IR diode installed on the device. So with this TV like remote control I can control the TV hanging on my wall. For now, I will change the source to the tuner. First, I click the source button, wait for the TV um, to show the source menu, and now I can move through the sources and set the tuner. There it is. I can use every function which can be done by the TV control. Um, let's switch channels, for example. You see, this is a comfortable remote control app for my whole room. Okay, the last thing I want to show is the possibility to read values. There is a temperature sensor installed in the device and I can read its value with clicking the temp button here. The response will be displayed as the button's caption. Right now I have 18.1 degrees of Celsius in my room. That's pretty cold. If you do not have the hardware, you can also use a simple socket server running on your PC to see how the app works. With a little programming experience, you should be able to control your PC. Just read the send strings and trigger some functions like starting applications or control the volume of your PC. This application gives you the possibility to create a custom remote control. Simply edit the JSON file in the way you want to use it. Move buttons and labels or change the icons. Check out the configuration explanation on my website and build your own controller within minutes without knowing how to create an iPhone or iPad application. Let's take a look at the controller settings. In the global iPhone settings we see the connection details like the IP and the port. Edit these settings accordingly. This app is an universal application which can also be used on the iPad. Here we see one screen and the configured buttons with which we can control the same things like on the iPhone. Use your own background image, simply add a PNG file into the iTunes file sharing. Yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. Now um, go try it yourself and make your life a little bit easier. Thanks for watching and have fun. Bye.